Now we move on to this evening's final award. Back in 2002, SEAT added another distinguished feather to the SEAT cricket rating cap by instituting the CCR Lifetime Achievement Award. Past winners include some greats of the game like Kapil Dev, Sunil Gavaskar, and Zaheer Abbas, among others. This year, we honor another Indian legend, a man who rose from modest beginnings to become one of India's greatest wicket keepers and a World Cup winner. India's dramatic World Cup win in 83 coincided with him being duly recognized as tournament's best wicket keeper. Certainly not bad for someone who once revealed he took to the gloves without knowing what wicket keeping was all about. To give away the SEAT Lifetime Achievement Award for uh, his invaluable contribution to cricket, may I invite on stage not one, but three distinguished personalities, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar, Mr. Harsh Goenka, and Ms. Chitranga Singh. And I request everyone to please stand up and give a rousing welcome on stage to Sayyid Mushtaba Hussain Kirmani. It must feel great. I mean, I was looking at that, um, that video footage, keeping to some of the, the greats in the game must have been one hell of an experience. We're talking about Bishan Singh Bedi and Chandrasekhar and Prasanna. Well, indeed, first of all, I would like to uh, thank the committee of SEAT International for having given me this honor on this uh, very auspicious yearly awards celebration, celebrations. And I would like to congratulate all those winners for having won the awards which they richly deserve. And of course, uh, well, it has been a long um, grind for me in climbing up the ladder of success. And uh, well, there are ups and downs in everybody's walk of life, for sure, no two ways about it. Well, I accepted every bit of it and went on trying to do my best at all times. And of course, you did mention about uh, the clubs. I must tell you, I must uh, uh, inform everybody out here who are present uh, how I started wicket keeping. Uh, it was way back when I was probably uh, uh, 10 or 12, 12 years old. When I was living in that extension in Bangalore, uh, extension team was formed and there were three sticks uh, as stumps. Cork ball was bought mm. by collecting uh, you know, funds from the quarters, uh, etc. and etc. And were, those were the um, uh, government quarters may, where my father lived as a government employee. And, of course, uh, the captain was the dada at that time, you know, the, the big guy who was very passionate about cricket. He formed the team and announced himself as the captain. And, of course, I was the youngest in that lot. And who's going to stop the cork ball? Normally, it's a tendency, natural tendency, that uh, everybody throws their weight on the youngest fella. So I was there standing behind all these uh, tall and big guys. They were really Go and stand behind. All right, thank you. So now how do I stop the cork ball? Oh, most uneven ground, uneven, uh, I would call it a ground. 
वेल आई लुक लेफ्ट एंड राइट यार कैसे मैं रोकू ये कॉर्क बॉल को तो दे वॉज अप ऑफ ब्रिक्स हाँ दैट लुक्स गुड सो दैट आई डोंट गेट इंजर्ड एंड आई पिक अप द ब्रिक I started stopping the cork ball. Now, how do I stop the leg side? I picked up two bricks, and that's how my wicket keeping started. And when I went into the school, St. Joseph's Indian High School, there was the junior cricket uh, kit pack, and I was uh, looking for the wicket keeping gloves without any inhibitions. So I found, I saw those wicket keeping gloves looking better than the bricks. So bricks were my first gloves. Okay. <laughs> but you had soft hands well i don't know how soft they are <laughs> somebody has to feel it how was it <laughs> very soft there you go you yeah, know uh, can't be as soft as yours <laughs> nevertheless <laughs> yeah but um, obviously um, you um, were outstanding in your career 88 test matches and you would have quite a few standing in the slip cordon with you uh, tell us a bit about mr gawaska he was your usual perpetual companion in the first slip yes yeah. was, was uh, he encouraging was he jovial was he intense no we had some great time uh, on, on the, the field, field and, and off the field yes of course i was <laughs> Uh, you are quicker on that off the field stuff you know yeah. you are quicker there and <laughs> nevertheless uh, we had we definitely had some great time uh, on the field uh, for sure and he was the closest uh, to me in the first slip and we had some great jokes uh, in between uh, uh, the drinks interval or um, in between a wicket which falls or uh, uh, all those things and i have learned a great deal uh, from sunny and our first um, meeting first time when we met was uh, during the moinatola 1967 68 mm. right when uh, nawab patawdi late nawab patawdi used to lead the courts was the sultan court that moinatola was a big tournament uh, it was uh, recognized as the first class tournament in our time when we had started so on those bases uh, at fateh maidan in hyderabad we shared uh, the room together so that was the first time when uh, i had heard a great deal uh, of sunil gavaskar you know a great talented uh, opening batsman from mumbai uh, playing for the indian schools against sri lanka and in and england i think you played against uh, those teams uh, mm. if my memory serves me right not many things uh, stick on to this uh, shining and slippery head you know uh, they slip off very quickly nevertheless yeah. <laughs> so on that count uh, that was uh, my first uh, meeting with him and from there on uh, i was observing him very closely uh, as to how um you know he used to bat okay uh, he was a bundle of concentration and determination you know uh, so and it was a big pleasure also um, i never got many opportunities playing alongside uh, with him when he was at the other end i can very distinctly remember uh, the madras test against the west indies where he got a double hundred and i happened to manage with a little bit of nudges here and there with this 75 oh well then yeah, well <laughs> let's let and, and and at that time one incident also i would okay. like to quote here uh, you know when uh, the west indians uh, uh, you know they were pretty annoyed i don't know on what reasons uh, suddenly michael holding bowled a beamer at me at you at me at me while i was batting you know there was um, a kind of an appeal when i had just gone in and left the ball it got my shirt and went to the keeper, uh, to the keeper and there was a big appeal and the umpire very rightly said not out so they were very crossed mm. so he bowled a beamer at me and i fell down and then uh, and he was the best friend uh, amongst the west indians to me a very gentle uh, gentleman cricketer you know so i just left the stumps and said hey come on you take the stumps if you want to take my wicket there you are you won't believe the second beamer aimed at me <laughs> you know i again fell down and that was the time when uh, the captain called declared the entire innings okay, these guys are getting a little nasty you know <laughs> uh, let not any cricketer get injured so that was one of the incidences right, which okay. uh, i enjoyed uh, 
of course, under his captaincy, every bit of uh, we had some great times. Of course, uh, you know, when before the uh, one of the nice things which uh, we always shared uh, on the field, you know, when uh, there was a little bit of a gap between the overs, uh, he would come and put his hand over my shoulders and dek dek stand me dek dek wahan baithe hain. इनको माइक दीजिए जरा थोड़ा सा इनको दीजिए जरा एक सेकंड या या इनको माइक तो आप दीजिए जरा ये किन की बात कर रहे हैं क्या यू टॉकिंग अबाउट मी वेल दैट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव अ लिटिल स्ट्रेस बस्टर सो यू नो यू लुक अराउंड टेल अस अ बिट अबाउट हिज हिज विकेट कीपिंग बिकॉज़ आउटस्टैंडिंग आउटस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज़ यू नो ही एज यू सेड राइटली दैट फॉर समबडी to keep wickets to the, the four spinner they were all different the variety chandra had the bounds vishen had the flight guile and uh, prasanna as well i i remember he um, having uh, been brought up in uh, bangalore uh, keeping wickets to uh, irapalli prasanna who turned the ball a great deal and so when he was keeping wickets to venkat he used to struggle a little bit because venki was not a big spinner of the ball and there were a couple of missed opportunities stumping and caught behind and so venki uh, i think is is has been known to have a short fuse mm. <laughs> so venki would get uh, pretty upset and uh, so every time you would have a go at him he would say but yes you know i'm used to keeping to the turning ball so i'm not used to keeping to the straight <laughs> straight <laughs> delivery so that was him but um, his his sense of humor was uh, absolutely terrific uh, i guess you need uh, a sense of humor when you're keeping wickets uh, um in hot conditions you know i mean slip fielders other fielders can relax a wicket keeper cannot he's he's in action every single ball yeah. so you need that kind of energy as well and his sense of humor and also that era produced a lot of great wicket keepers um you know and really you had to uh, be uh, on top of your game really to make a name for yourself because yes. we're talking about alan not we're talking about wasim bari we're talking about uh, you know rodney marsh um so there was a competition in that area of yeah. it actually brought brought out the best out of all of them because i think they all wanted to be yeah. recognized as the number one wicket keeper in the world and so i think you know they they really came up with some outstanding uh, performances behind the wickets that in turn obviously helped the bowlers and their teams uh, to win matches and uh, i think uh, a, a lot a lot of uh, people don't really know he was he was a very fine batsman absolutely yeah. um, a gritty know, gritty batsman gritty batsman mm -hmm. he he scored a couple of hundreds uh, going in as night watchman mm -hmm. and uh, of course he almost got that uh, 100 before uh, mikey bowled uh, those two beamers at him mm. and uh, because he was not very keen uh, you know after that uh, i missed out on a triple 100 because <laughs> <laughs> because if he had carried on batting you know maybe i would have got a, got a triple 100 but right. there, there you are yeah yeah no wonderful achievement sir and we are all so happy for you and you've been such an icon and an ambassador for the sport many congratulations thank you so much thank you